All right, collective, how y'all doing today out there in La La Land? Now, I'm back with another one. Now, guys, be sure to go check out the other channel. The link is above the description box. Hit those dots, those three dots. That reading was very interesting. Very, very. Now, it did cut out before I finished, but however, I did get my point across. Not too much, about a minute. Now, I don't know why my camera keep going off, y'all. I don't know. I don't get it. Now, let's see what's coming out of these cars for you. Now, I hope everything is going well out there in your lives and all that good jazz. But let's see what Spirit got for you today. Now, we're going to pull from Signs of the Times. See if we can get any good news coming out those cards. Now it looks like you got a wish fulfillment on the split and the chariot. Now this is what you don't see coming through. Now in this order, you have this lack of balance. Bringing it all together with this ten of swords to the sun card. Now this is all good, boo. Very, very good. Now let's put these over here. Right on up there like that so you can see them. Wow. Wow. And that communication is coming in rather quickly in regards to that wish fulfillment. And that chariot is a victory. Damn it, man. Spirit made me split it like that. I want to see. I want to see. Now, let's see how you're feeling out there. Look like somebody might have love or a birthday coming up soon. Miracles coming out the deck. So let's see how they feeling. Relaxation. Now some of you guys may be going on a little trip. I see you getting yourself together. You got your luggage right there. <laughs> got your mind made up. You all about that positivity, right? Now it looks like something is really going to make you very happy in regards to this miracle book. Now, it does look like you're contemplating on where you want to go, what you want to do, with all your newfound success in that miracle. Now, let's see what's coming out of these cards. I'm going to try to get through it quick because I hate for this video to go out. Now, you have succulents and resilience. Now, I look like you might just be working on something a little bit hard. Now, this fell right in my lap. Which is giving me security. Like money going to fall in your lap, boo. Look like it's about to blossom. Whatever you're trying to balance out. And this truth here. You got miracle. Feather. Spirit. Giving you message, guiding you. Now you may have found some feathers or something like that. It's a possibility. to the house, key to the city, keys for something. Now you have mountains and obstacles. Now why I see this as what the card states, 
I did see that in regards to your travel. Yeah. Look like you're going to get through that though. Because you got the mind made up. You got the tennis forwards. Now this could be some type of new beginning. I really see somebody traveling. Now you might be going where somewhere where mountains are. Now this is the number five. Look like you're going to get over some obstacles. Damn. Look where it stopped going. The crown. And 11, 11 and 12, 12. Portals, damn, divine guidance. I told you was being guided for some truth. Now, this miracle might be some unexpected income that's just gonna fall right in your lap, but right from out the sky. <laughs> Could be, never know. Be open to every possibility, baby. Look like it's a little drab here, but you move right on into some type of sun. Now, maybe this was the op obstacles you moved on up to clarity over here to this sun. Now, it do look like you're healing for something because I stopped on this. Now, it could just be mental stagnation. Look like you're gonna be the hot topic. A lot of bees buzzing around you. Okay. Look at you. You got the tree. The ancestry tree. Now, this does give me the feeling that you might be going to see family. However, I see this in several ways, boo. We could be getting rooted and grounded. Could be going to buy some land. Could be some type of t-shirt venture. Could be so many things. Hmm. Real earthy though. Real earthy. And it really lines so well with that sun card. Hmm. with the crown. Now you might be getting some downloads, personal power, that's what this card say. Ascension. Yeah, some miracle. Something. Now I do look like you've been doing a lot of work on yourself because this is a mirror. Self-reflection. Hmm. Hermit mode. 28. 10 new beginnings could be seen for something positive yeah. might have something to do with that travel and this succulence whatever this is that's growing now this is the number 38 which is 11 maybe a tuning with those gifts That's coming your way. Those miracles, that wish fulfillment. What was the other one? Yeah, the tarot. Damn, I just pulled up on the sun card. I mean, the star card. Wow. Look at all that. Major. Major, major transitions coming your way. Major. Now, I want to pull from... Just a few of these. Just a few. Two of those spirits. Then you have energetic movement with that positivity. Uh oh. And that, mo that movement can be within you or whatever you're working on. Could be you right here with your mind, getting it right. And you have achievement of miracles. And at the bottom of the deck is enlightenment. Now, I told you you're about to be crowned. It's all about your 
third eye, your gifts. pull from these cards. I don't know. I love these cards, y'all. Now, I wish I did have a nice, big, thick deck. Hey, but these work. I don't think I paid like $3 for them. <laughs> Let's see. We got gross. Guilt, success, and patience on the split. Now, success is peaking out. I think it's going to sneak up on you, boo. Now, I'm not sure what this guilt about. Now, you may just be guilty because you're leaving somebody behind. And judgment is here lining up with this family tree. Now, something maybe illuminated. In regards to this judgment, now maybe you've called judgment on somebody within your family structure. You know, sometimes we gotta leave someone behind. Them. And yeah, empathy. That's probably where the guilt is stemming from. Now, it could be many things. I don't know exactly what it is. You're going to have to tap in and figure that out. Then you have freedom from that. Now, maybe you once felt guilty about the situation. Or maybe trying somebody's trying to make you feel guilty. Or maybe somebody has guilt within your family structure. Traveling, I hate to say it, but due to some loss in the family, could be. Now, maybe your purpose is just to uh, be a healer, a leader, a teacher, break those curses. And maybe you have empathy for some people in your family because they just won't wake up. But I think you're going to find freedom from that situation. Could be. Now this is the card that came out. That wanted to come out before. That slapped my finger. But I just kept going. But humor. I think this is telling you to um, embrace the side or the lighter side of life. Free your mind from any guilt. Because boo is not your fault. You can't save nobody. You can lead them to the water. But you can't make them drink boo. Friendships with positivity. Now it looks like you're gonna be um happiness. Now it looks like uh energetic movement with friendships and positivity. Now that's damn good. Right? Maybe you're moving towards people with more like minded. Yeah. People that put obstacles and barriers in your way. Just frame yourself from that. And maybe that's what you was juggling in the past. Trying to stunt your growth. But you grew despite it. You overcame all the obstacles. Now you're going to find yourself in peace, boo. And guilt came right back at the bottom of the deck. Now that's what you don't see coming. And I think Spirit wants you to pay attention to that. Don't feel guilty, boo. Now 
Now, I'm not sure what that guilt is about, but Spirit say I'm telling the truth. Don't feel guilty. Now you got judgment with the Queen of Wands. Now maybe you call judgment on because to how you want to lead your own life. Is this somebody that's well sought after, beautiful, energetic, people want to work with her, got it going on? Now you could have called judgment on the Queen of Wands and your family. You go either way. Maybe you walked away from that person trying to stunt your growth, boo. Could be. Of green down here, I must say. Could be a matter of the heart. I guess everything is, but now you got empathy and the world card. Yeah, closing those cycles out. Now I think you're going to still be empathetic to people. However, let me see. Oh, it says, I am opening up to see both sides of the situation. Yeah. Maybe changing your worldview. Yeah, you're looking dead at the world card. Maybe that's where that guilt is stemming from for some, for some of you guys. Those words is all about thought. <coughs> Look like you're getting clear on something. Now you don't necessarily have to be moving. This could just be you figuratively, if I could get the word out right. Just get your mind together, boo. Now freedom is on a crossroads. And, and it says I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Yeah, I think you're overcoming that crossroads. That's what that twin of swords was about. Some type of crossroads. I think you're just standing in your morality. Your authenticity. Yep, I just seen a high priestess. Now, friendships. Ooh, with the King of Cups. Now, this could be a new boo. However, I just see these new friendships that's loving, celebrating you. Dang. Could be a new boo. And that's on happiness. Now, maybe this is you just um, elevating in this regard. From the king to the emperor, attaining your throne, standing on your throne, throne, calling judgment, being that leader, achievements, finding your peace with these miracles. Now, maybe you're really uh, stepping into your own, being an entrepreneur, that boss. Yeah. Getting those finances stable. Now we done seen we got the wands, the cups, the pinnacles, now the sword. Now it looks like somebody is really attaining all the characteristics that makes the emperor. Yeah. 
peace. Now this is the Knight of Swords. Now the Knight of Swords is all about fast action. Now it could be in regards to those miracles. Because it is aligning with that and those achievements. Something coming at you rather swiftly. Buddy boy keeps showing up at the bottom of the deck. That personal power boo. I think somebody's really stepping into their leadership role. And you're coming in with a caring heart. Yeah. You just really getting control over your emotions. Now it look like you might be closing out cycles such as these. Now there could also be some type of news coming your way. And maybe you have a little empathetic feelings in regards to this person because you see that they just won't wake up and get the hit get it together. Yeah, could be closing the cycle out on those type of people. One foot in, one foot out. Yeah. Choosing you, boo. Now, they go to King of Cups and the Queen. Now, I just see this person coming into balance, but the masculine and feminine. The Emperor, that is. Now, there could be other friendships coming your way that are in balance. Look, that crossroads and that freedom look like financial freedom to me. Whatever you got your mind on, wherever you're going, whatever this judgment call that you made, look like it's going to be a good one, boo. Positive. friendships. I'm calling judgment on it. You ain't got no time for the shenanigans no damn well. If you ain't coming right, get the hell up out my face. Right? Keep it pushing. Because <laughs> you moving on, boo. Pushing through any boundaries. You can smell it a mile away, right? You can peep it. You peep game. You sniffed it out. Don't bring your low energy vampire behind around me, right? That's what you're telling them. Listen, that's right. You're discovering exactly who you are. Now, maybe you discovered something else in regards to your achievements and happiness and your miracles. Wow. Yeah, you just standing up for yourself, going after your wish fulfillments. You got to get them too, boo. Yeah, whatever you're working on, I told you. Whatever you're working on is going to bring you peace, happiness, and you're doing the right thing. You just keep on going, boo. You just keep on going. That's the seven to the eight. That may be where you at right now, but you right here. Relationships that lack balance, you done with that shit. I told you, you call judgment on that. However, that is lining up with that. On this too. I told you, relationships that lack balance, you done with that shit. You move it on. Listen, you can't make it up. Spirit say, I'm telling the truth. <laughs> I think you know exactly who you are, but you won't. And your happiness resides in you. And you done did too much work on yourself to let anybody come in to pee upon your energy. Yeah. Yeah, you don't see this coming. That landed right on that. However, this is lining up with Buddy Boy right here. They might got little dark secrets that you're closing out on. Or girl. <laughs> yeah, you're moving on. 
And that chariot is bringing in this Ace of Pentacles and that freedom. Financial freedom. That's what I see. Positive. Is something about to make you damn happy? Look at that. Whatever you was holding on, negative energy is falling by the wayside. Somebody about to experience a tower moment. And you might feel a little guilty for that. Or they might feel a little guilty for how they treated you. Uh, didn't believe in you. Listen. But Spirit say you got better friends coming. They, damn. They fell right on the, the, the Empress. On abundance with peace. That money, what's ever coming in fast. Your creativity, right on justice, boo. Now you got the emperor and the empress down here. Now y'all might be kind of not. That's friendship. Look, with achievement, positivity, miracle. Listen. Yeah, standing up for that. You don't fought too hard. You about to get your boo. Now, this fell out like this on top of this, even though I'm going to take it. Now, this looks like, damn, that's what spirit is talking about. That empress bringing in that abundance from this status to that status, boom. Spirit. Bringing it in, boo. Bringing it in. Yeah, whatever you've been working on, real hard, mm -hmm. it's paying off. Whatever you invested in, you did the right thing on thing. The spirit said, rest my sweet darling. It's all working out. That's that offer coming in, in regards to that. Whatever it is, that good news, that unexpected income. All those seeds you've been planting. Spirit said, I'm telling the truth. The will is turning in your favor, darling. self-love. That's what you're moving to. Yep. With that crown, boo. And it's all because you did this. And you might be seeing 11-11 or 12-12 a lot. It's a lot of numbers down here, boo. However, there's new beginning. Now let me give you three angel cards and we're going to close this up because this was right and straight to the point. Beautiful and I love it. I love it. I love it. Any final words? Now make sure y'all hit the like button, the subscribe button, the notifications for all. Subscribe to both channels. Leave me a comment. Tell me if it resonates. The more you interact, the more I pick up on your energy. I think this is important. Now, our angel Michael or Uriel could be working with you. And it says your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you. Release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and your mind. And that's all in your mind. And it's right on that crown, boo. I love it. And maybe pay attention to that. Now you have Archangel Gabriel. And it says you, are, you have an important life purpose involving communications and the arts, please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. This is beautiful. Very positive reading. Very positive, my darling. Amen.
And your last and final card is, I am leading you towards the answers to your prayers. Please listen to the following steps. I am communicating through your intuition, your thoughts, and your dreams. Adriana. Now, any final words, spirit? Surprise. People can see your halo. Earth signs. We are granted redemption. You're going to be in the spotlight. Relieve the past. You got moon magic here. That's all about those manifestations. Maybe you did a burn and release in regards to uh, manifestations. There is a full moon tonight, isn't it? You might want to do that tonight. Now, you might want to pay attention to energy vampires and things of that nature. Now, you got in 30, 3 to 30 days, something might happen for you. All right, boo. And that is your message, and I will see you on the next one.